Hello and welcome to another A-Level Computer Science video with me, Mr. Goff, for MrGoff.com. This video will focus on the normalization of floating point numbers. A normalized floating point number will always have a one in its most significant bit, whether this is the sign bit if it's negative or the first positive bit if it's a positive number. This means the number will be as precise as possible in the given number of bits that we have for the mantissa. A normalized positive floating point number will always start with a zero for the sign bit and a one in the point five column. If we have a number such as we have here, 0, 0, 0, 001, 0, 0, 1, 1, and it actually represents 0.125 times two to the power of three, which is one, we could actually represent it more accurately by normalizing that number. To do this, we need to shift the entire number over two places. Each time we shift it to the left a place, we have to decrement the exponent. So we end up with 0, 0100001 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, because one is the new exponent. A normalized negative floating point number always starts with a one for the sign bit and a zero in the point five column. If like here, we get a number like this, 11100100, then what we need to do is slide it across so that we have that one, and then the first zero is the second number. So we're moving it two places over to the left. We lose those other two ones. It becomes 1000, and we have to decrement the exponent by two. So it was four, it's now gonna be two. So that's 0010. When a calculation is made with floating point numbers, we can get underflow and overflow. You may recall from GCSE that overflow is when a calculation is made and the result of that calculation is too large to be stored with the number of bits available. We now also have a possibility for underflow. This is when a calculation is made and the result of that calculation is too small of a decimal number to be accurately represented with the number of bits we've got available. That brings us to the end of this video on normalization of floating point numbers, underflow and overflow. Join me in the next video when I'll be having a look at error checking and correction methods. Use the resources at mrgoff.com to help you revise computer science. And until next time, it's bye for now.